Oh, Latinx. Latinx, Latinx. The battle over it? That was done, but apparently it has been revised again from the oddest of places. Now, we have covered extensively here on the channel in regards to names we call ourselves. Whether it's Latino or Mexican, Mexica, Chicano, Raza, Gente, Latinx. I will say I, I personally don't care what you call yourself. But if it is connected to some sort of new social world order or a political uh, stance where all must comply and all must fit this definition and name, then that is definitely I'm not for that. But that is where we lay our story now. One of the, one of the biggest um, Instagram pages with 5.7 million followers, so Mexican, put this up for us. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders bans term Latinx on her first day in office. And so Mexican says, y'all think this is the right move? Within hours in being uh, sworn in as sworn in as the new governor of Arkansas, Sarah Huckabee Sanders signed an executive order Tuesday banning the term Latinx from official use in the state government. It is one of the first, if not the first, executive order of its kind. Tabitha Bonilla, an associate professor of human development and social policy at Northwestern University, told NBC News. It was one of seven orders, actually, signed by Sanders, a Republican, right after taking the oath. The other ones focused on prohibiting Arkansas schools from teaching critical race theory, budgeting and spending, as well as other government affairs. Most of these executive orders are consistent with rhetoric, with the rhetoric Sanders campaigned on, except for the one banning Latinx, a gender neutral alternative to Hispanic or Latino, that's via uh, MSN, NBC. But so Mexican is asking us right now, right there, what do y'all think? Is this the right move? Okay, now before we get to some of these blistering comments, uh, I do want to point out that her campaign that she ran on, which is, you know, they're not inaccurate. Um, she won by over 60%. So whatever she ran on, a big majority, I mean, anything over 60% uh, is in line with that in regards to in, as far as the state of Arkansas. Now, I would uh, disagree with MSNBC here saying except for Banny Latinx, a general neutral, she has connected, uh, Sarah Huckabee, that is, connected Latinx with this kind of social new world order I was telling you about and critical race theory. What do you guys think of that? Is that fair? Do you think that is fair? Do you call yourself Latinx? Let me know. Um, right off the bat, a good buddy of ours, Johnny Legs chimes in. Now, it's the only term, and he's got a million subscribers, a million followers there on Instagram. Now, he says, now it's the only term I will use. She can't tell us what we can and cannot do. And he got like 340 responses. Let's go to uh, uh, a few of them. Uh, they can only ban certain people like government employees from using it. Correct. I mean, uh, you know, uh, let's, let's be, I looked it up there, guys. It's banning Latinx on any government, state government paperwork. State government paperwork. All right. Um, other people say, I'm not a, I'm not a, an X-man. I'm Latino. Uh, just in, 
V S T F U. Okay. A funny man, BT Jokes, who we've uh, chronicled here on the channel, Brian Torres, comedian, says she went from Karen to Karen about Latinos. <laughs> Very funny, funny man. Super Suar says, I'm actually okay with this one. We're Latinos or Latinas. What the F is Latinx? Some white person probably came up with the term. Christian Garcia, yes, TF is Latinx, question mark. And uh, you're seeing a lot of this. Latinx is only used by woke white people who listen to NPR. Tenorio, 329, 392, 29, there's my dyslexia going on. Uh, Tenorio says she's invited to my carne asada. <laughs> Mr. Reddy, most of my Latino homies are hyped about this one. Then the Lexit movement, which is Latinos exiting the Democratic Party, um, so cool. Let's go. Freaking love this. But then there's one Chingona Chicana says the new GOP is so anti-everything they stand for nothing. Interesting. That has always been, I believe, the Republicans' party cultural show shortfall is what do you stand for? What are the, give us alternative ideas, plans? What's going on? Quinn Quinn, thank God the term Latinx is freaking stupid as F. Big win, people are saying. And uh, there is more and more comments. That is from So Mexican with 5.7 million followers. Again, I think it's just uh, important to note there. And uh, interesting, uh, as to a state official doing this. I don't think I've ever heard of this. I don't know if this is uh, the right answer. Honestly, we've already spoken about this uh, as far as what is. In, and it's in numbers, you know, just a super majority of people who are Latino just don't know the word, don't use it. Don't like it. Very small percentage use it. And I say to that very small percentage, use it. By all means. Uh, but uh, to change the language, to change people's thoughts and how they live their lives, that's a big no-no. All right, I want to know what you think. Here on the Latino Slam. Keep your snap working.